What else I got on the notes? Oh, WandaVision. What's going on, beautiful people? The Black Okage here, aka TBH. And to be honest, a new podcast is out and I talk about One Division, my first impressions on it. Before we get into that friendly reminder that I am giving away a free Xbox Series X. And if you want a free next gen console, yes, Microsoft's 4K capable, Cuphead running at 120 frames console. Hit that link in the description box below, pause this video. It doesn't take but a minute to sign up for the giveaway and then come back and watch the video. Other than that, uh, just know, I talked about WandaVision on the new podcast. Also, we talk about life and cyberpunk and all the drama surrounding that. So make sure to check out the full podcast. If you want to check out the full podcast, there will be a link in the description box below to that as well. All right, roll tape. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, I don't watch a lot of TV, but WandaVision came out and I am a super Marvel fan. And uh, uh, here's my first impressions, man. The first two episodes literally dropped like last night. And I I kid you not, I, I only, I'm not even interested in the show, but... I, and I, I know why after watching, but I did watch it. I literally watched it right before I started recording. So it's like fresh in my brain. Um, and WandaVision is, I don't care about Wanda and I don't care about Vision. So I don't know who greenlighted this at Marvel to make this a TV show, but I, I, I don't care about it. But I, I tried. I tried to go into this with an open mind. But based off the first two, two episodes that I watched, first impressions, the only thing that kept ringing in my head is that that Charlemagne the God meme. And I posted it on Twitter. Nah, this ain't it, man. So basically, something's going on with Wanda. And she created this whole fantasy in her mind where she's living in the 1950s with Vision as a, with his husband. And he goes to work and she's at home like being a housewife. I swear to God, the best way to describe this show is I love Lucy with superpowers. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, what is this show? And they are alluding to that's not all it is that's just the first two episodes i don't want to get it twisted i don't want anybody thinking i'm stupid i was paying attention they are alluding to the fact that there is something sinister or something else going on behind the scenes because like she's breaking the fourth wall at certain points or um like at the end of the first episode they i don't want to spoil it but they showed something and then it, you can tell there's something dubious going on behind the scenes not as all it seems and, and, and at the end of the day it's all in her head it's all like an imagination so maybe it's I think somebody had told me on Twitter that the show is supposed to be a slow burner. That's what the director said. But I, I didn't know it was going to be this slow. Like, it, I w bro, the first two episodes, I swear to God, the first episode is about Vision goes to work. He goes to work and then there's like a toaster commercial. And then the second episode and then like, oh, we love each other. And then the second episode is literally about Wanda and um, the Vision are trying to fit in with the neighborhood and they throw a magic show. I swear to God, it's some, it's, it's literally, and the show is in total black and white. I'm like, bruh, um, I don't know, bro. This ain't, this, this ain't it. And to make matters worse, this shit is not accurate, right? Fucking what fantasy did Wanda create? Because in this fantasy that she's in, that she's living in the 1950s and they're just trying to fit in, um, they, there's a black family there. There's like a black dude there. And like, he's hanging out with like all the white families and shit. I think there's like a Hispanic dude too. And I'm like, bro, if this was the fifties, he would have been called, and excuse my language for people listening. He would have been called the N-word with the hard R. I ain't going to say it. I'm a corporate Hokage now. I'm not going to say it, y'all. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Ninja. <laughs> with the hard R. Freaking, they got this black dude on the show. And it's like, I love to see black actors doing their thing and shit. But I'm like, if this supposed to be the 50s, what the fuck does his black ass, they would have hung his ass. What the fuck is this shit, bruh? So, like I said, the director said it's supposed to be a slow burner. And like I said, they, they're hinting at stuff. There's little Easter eggs in there where you can tell there's something going on sinister behind the scenes. But from what I watch right now, just from a strictly entertainment standpoint, the shit was whack, dog. I I almost nodded off at one point. I was like, mm, this ain't it, bro. So I'm not going to drop the show. I'm not going to drop it because they are alluding to something. I'm just going to what I am saying is. I'm going to be very pissed if we get to the end of the season and it doesn't pay off whatever they're alluding to. I'm going to give it a few more episodes and hopefully it's good. So if you want to watch it, it's available on Disney Plus. Shout out to Nomad for giving me his password because you know I'm not paying for that shit. I'm actually glad I didn't. But just know if you do pick it up, there's only a couple episodes out. They dropped two episodes on day one and know it is very slow the first couple episodes. Um... I hope like Magneto or something shows up and just turns. I hope Magneto just shows up in her brain and just starts throwing magnets everywhere and shit. And the show just heats up and the X-Men come through fucking Wolverine. And Wolverine doesn't do that. But, you know, it would have been cool if he did. It'd be more interesting than what they showing right now. That's all I'm saying. 
Um, so those are my first impressions on WandaVision. I know they weren't the great, but they weren't that great, but it is what it is.